minutes away from this release, the Nina Chanel Abney, Nina Chanel Abney, Air Jordan 2, low and high. I like the hand tag. The hand tag looks diesel as fuck. Um, the shoe, I'm going to be honest with you, it has grown on me a little bit. Um, I just wish she incorporated more of her artwork because she has really nice artwork. So I didn't really understand why she didn't do that with this. Um, they don't look bad on feet. I just think that the, the one is so dumbed down as it is, right? It's already a pretty dumbed down shoe as is. So why um, dumb it down even more? The hoodie is the best thing about it. Um, if I didn't have to get this surgery for my cat, I would get the hoodie in a heartbeat, but you know, the cat guy go before the damn sneakers. Uh, hit the thumbs up button as you walk in here. I don't think there's any real video on these shoes yet. So um, yeah, hit the thumbs up button. I don't think they're trash. A lot of people are shitting on them. I wouldn't say they're trash because on foot, I don't think they look bad on feet. I would definitely not wear that hang tag. You're going to F up your damn sneaker. Do not wear that freaking hang tag. By far, 100%. You you are de you are going to destroy your damn sneaker. You wear that effing hang tag on there. So if you care about your shoes, don't do it. Don't do it, man. If you don't give a damn about the shoe, then go for it. Go F your shit up. Go ahead. Make my day. I don't give a damn. It's your shoes. But hang tag is super cool. I just, I wish she incorporated her artwork. I would have liked if she just filled the whole damn thing with, with the art. Um, here is a link to the hoodie. The hoodie is amazing. Um, and that's the thing. The hoodie is like, bravo. I mean, it's a piece of effing art, the hoodie. Um, but then on the shoe, you got none of that art on it. I would have liked if she did some sort of art on the upper. Just tag the whole fucking upper up. Would have been nice. Um, but we didn't get that. I, I see she wanted to dumb it down even more, which I, I think is not appealing to, well, to me. Is it appealing to you guys? Do you guys like this shoe? Please, right now, interact with me. How do we feel about this effing sneaker? Do we like it? Or is it trash? Like, like let me know. Corey says the tag is the art we can keep. I see what you're saying right there. I do see what you're saying. Um, but I'm not wearing the effing hand tag. And the hand tag is this big. Corey loves the sneaker. That's what's And I hope you get them, Corey. I really do. Um, they are live right now. I did put a link to the hoodie. I, as I said, I think the hoodie is the best thing about this, th this pack. She, she, her whole, the whole clothing game is on point. Not even just that one hoodie that, that's pretty infamous. There's a link to the low. Um, Ham is saying 250 Come on, son. How much is Off-White sneakers, though? I mean, if Off-White could charge that kind of money, and, and I'm just having a – I want to have a little bit of debate on that because a lot of people are up in, up in her um, ass about that, you know? Like, ah, well, why is she charging 250 225 How much was the Off-White uh, low? Too. It was pretty expensive. It was around that price. Do I agree with that price? No, I don't agree with it. With that. It's, it's a Jordan 2, man. A Jordan 2 is st stupid dumbed down. You know? So, I mean, at the end of the day, I get it. I do get the whole vibe. Um, but let me know what you guys think of them. Um, so far, the only person that likes them that I've seen in here is Corey. And, and Corey says, it looks like a model back in the day that Jordan Brand might have scrapped. Okay. I see what you're saying with that. I do see what you're saying with that. But and I'm just trying to get to, to talk to y'all and, and connect with you all and, and see why, why do some people dislike the sneakers so much? Why do some people love this shoe so much? Um, because I feel like there's a thin, there's there's no middle over here with this. Uh, well, I, I mean that's not true because I don't hate this shoe. At first, I said this shit looks like a damn bootleg Fat Farm sneaker, one of them fake looking shack shoes you see at damn what 
Ross for less or games. Um, but at the same time, am I just being nice? Am I just being nice because I, li I like her artwork? Maybe that's what it is. Call me out. Please call me out if that's the case. Am I just being nice right now? He says G-Unit. He thinks they look like G-Unit sneakers. To me, that's important. Yeah, I, 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 just, I, I could see these shoes selling at like um, a Ross for Less or a Gabe with the Fat Farm logo, with the And One logo at Walmart. They look to me like knockoff Jordan 2s. And, and I think that's that's what it comes down to. I do love her artwork, though. Her artwork is amazing. And that's why I really wish she incorporated the artwork on the actual shoe. And some may say, well, that would be tacky. But imagine if she just had the whole artwork all over the shoe and then put the white over it, right? So then it, you know, like it removes, kind of like the Lance Mountain did and, and shoes like that. Um, what are we doing? Are we going for these today? Both pairs stretch, size 11. So Sack likes these. Stretch cop for me if you don't want them. No doubt. Yo, double up. Why don't you battle tonight, bro? Why don't you battle tonight? It's going to be a light battle tonight. You keep ignoring me. <laughs> we'll have a battle tonight at 7 o'clock p.m. <coughs> Who is this? Oh, God. But, yeah, it's definitely a pass for me on these. It's definitely a pass. I'm, I'm, I just uh, it's not for – look, I got to really like a sneaker to drop 250, 225 on them. Um, that's just what it is. I, I'm, I'm not spending money on something that I think is, is cool. You know, if I only had one or two pairs of sneakers in my life, maybe I got damn well, like 400 pairs of shoes. So, so I'm not just going to buy some shit cause I think it looks cool. Right. That's my whole take. It's not happening. Um, let me know what you guys think, though, for sure. Yesterday, we did a really good video on the Drake shoes. Super effing detailed look. We showed you some nice video. We showed you on foot looks. And then toward the end, we actually showed Ham going and buying them in the store and then giving his review in the store. And it was amazing. So yesterday's video was a great watch. And uh, let me know how we feel about these shoes. Do we like them? Did you buy these yesterday? Resale is not crazy. There is a link in the description to these, to the Ninas. Um, yeah, double up on that bullshit, bro. And he's battling, and he will be battling Mason Kaiser tonight. AF3, right? AF3 calling you out. I don't know what's up with this guy. So, let me know what you think of these, though, for sure. If anyone wants to cam up, let me put the link in there. Hit that like button, please. Let's run them likes up. These likes are not where they should be. Send them donos. It's Friday, baby. Show that love and support for the show. Um, yeah, I don't need these so only for the simple fact I'm waiting for the Chicago twos. Oh, okay, so you're not getting them, Corey, but you like the shoes. He's not getting them, but he likes them. That's what he was saying. Let's go back to this little video here. Posted this on the, on my kids' channel by accident. Here we go. There you go. Yeah, I'm 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 kind of just whatever with them. Nice presentation. The box is real nice. Yeah, double up E on that bullshit. You see that, right? He ignored the question. 
My man, my man, straight up ignoring us, right? Double up ignoring us, bro. You like that? You like when you talk to your girl or something, and they don't want to answer the question. They they have select hearing. Double E got select effing hearing right now, right? He got all these sneakers. He don't want back. Got selective hearing. I don't like the box. Okay. What don't you like about the box? I think the box is like art. That's, I like it. But that's me. I was going for them till I seen the price tag on them. Yeah, the two fifty is a lot of money for a Jordan two. You know, um, it is. But what I don't understand is when I see people actually own Jordans from like off white, and they're going for like the same price on retail. So they complaining about off white. But they complaining about Nina. Like, if Virgil could sell the effing shoe for that price, why the F can't Nina, right? That's just where I'm coming with it. You know? That's just where I'm coming with it. Give me uh, 30 seconds, please. Give me 30 seconds. Oh, let's we'll start it from the top one time. Look at the poor kid. Look, he's happy. <laughs> he's trying not to cry. <laughs> Before and after. Oh, my God. Oh my before, God. I can't even tell the difference before and after. <laughs> yeah, I'm, yo, the before and after is crazy. <laughs> after. Looks like he shaved his beard and shit, but yo, the top of it. What the <laughs> fuck is the difference? <laughs> yo, I can't. Look at the before and after. Is there any difference? What the hell is the difference? <laughs> it, it, it looked like in the first photo, he just got out of bed. And then he put a little bit of brush on his head on the second photo. So let me just set you guys up for this. Back in the days, they had these late night infomercials. They still have them now, I think. Um, but you, you, if you have a bald spot, they literally had a can where you spray like you look like paint. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if people really bought this shit, but you got to be crazy to buy this. Oh, my God. So look at he got the ball. Look at Yo, just spray it. You good. <laughs> Yo, I can't. Yo, we can get the widow's pool peak. Oh <laughs> he should have sprayed it straight, hooked him with a little Caesar action. Oh my god, look at this fucking guy. Oh my this god. This is ridiculous. DJ Dells, you know I love you. What's Jimmy got to say? Jimmy says Nina's are okay, but I like the Air Jordan too. Yes, those are fire. Um and he's saving his coins for that. And you know what? I'm debating on getting those too. And the resale ain't bad on that. The resale on all these Jordan 2s are not a lot, not going for much. A little bit over retail. Facts, facts, um, Illustaus. Really nice sneaker. Blows this one out the water. Um, I want to see Jordan 2s with, a, with, a, with more interesting details on the sneaker, not less. I think that's the big problem with the Jordan 2 is that it's so simple. And you made it even more simple now. You did put a nice little suede wrapping around the toe. I can appreciate that. Um, but you dumped it down way too much. It's super dumbed down. And being someone who's an artist, right? If you're an artist, I expect more from you, not less from you. Um, if you're just a regular guy who put or girl that puts sneakers together, that's one thing, right? But if you're actually an artist, 
then give me some fucking art. You know what I mean? Like, give me some damn art. Don't give me this shit. Like, real talk. Give me art. Give me, give me some mother effing art. Look at, look at this um damn what um hoodie right here. Look at that hoodie. That hoodie is fan is that shit is bang. Knock out the park home run. Right? The hoodie's fire. The hoodie is $170. I've spent $200 on fucking hoodies, okay? I have no problem buying this hoodie for $170. I just can't do it right now. The way my bank account's set up, I can't do it right now. I got damn much. I still got to get this money right for this cat surgery, you know. And for the haters, oh, why don't you sell shoes? Why don't you sell? If I could just do this and the shoe sells, then that would be great. You know, I post a few things on Instagram. Not one person bought anything. What am I supposed to do? Y'all want to send any donos? Shout out to Poodle yesterday. Poodle sent some donos for that. That was amazing. Thank you again, Poodle. That really touched my heart not to get mushy on you. Um, why is my man wearing that? Is my man trying to show the abs or some shit like that. That's what Jones wear. Jones wear that shirt. Jones got... Um, that shirt in a different color. It's a different style. Jones wears that when he goes to the beach, when he tans. Um, I think he's actually going to be wearing that today when he goes to meet AF3 today. Jones is going to be hanging out with AF3 tonight. Hopefully we'll see them tonight on the battle together. Maybe in the infamous AF3 sneaker room. We'll see. But, um, you know, the clothing is dope. I mean, I wouldn't wear the what do you call that? Brazier? I'm just kidding. What do you call that? A crop top? Um, I wouldn't wear the crop top, but the jersey's fire. The um, jacket is really nice. It has the championships on there. I mean, the artwork is is sick on all this shit, man. The, the way she freaked this. Look at this throwback Nike flight piece. Fire. But the two... I wish you would have done something, you know, a little something. Hoodies are crazy. So if I, I recommend, look at that hoodie. That hoodie's sick. Or no. And I don't wear Jordan clothes like that. But this is art. I'll wear this because this is art. To me, this is very nice shit right here. She's She's got a real great talent. That was not utilized on her effing sneaker she released. You know? The jacket's fire. Real throwback uh, 80s, 90s, early 90s, 80s shit. Is that a sh Oh, no, it's not even a jacket. Yeah, it is. It's like a windbreaker. <coughs> Excuse me. I mean, real nice shit. Oh, this is what Homeboy was wearing. A bra. So you're trying to tell me my man was wearing a bra just now? Yeah, that's the bra he's wearing. He's trying to hold his hooters up. Give his hooters some support. It's all right. It be like that sometimes for some, I guess. Oh, boy. Look at that T-shirt. The T-shirt is dope, too. So if you like the artwork, you can get yourself a damn T-shirt. But if you look, my shit is just spinning over here but yeah the, the clothing is 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 way beyond what the sneakers are the sneakers are extremely lackluster boring snooze fest super snooze fest um in my opinion please stick up for the effing sneaker if you would i really would like you to stick up for the shit You wear you don't wear brassieres? I thought you did, Fly. I thought you like it. He's nuts. Bra, really? <laughs> Bra. <laughs> uh, he, she should have incorporated the wings logo on the side panel. Something on the side. King KP, he said it best. Save your money. But if you like them and you got the money, buy them. I'm never here to tell people not to buy shit. That ain't right. Yeah, Joe's coming through with the Brazier tonight. So watch yourself. Watch yourself, AF3. You know? 
be careful with him, man. Tan man is coming in all of his glory, all of his tanned glory. Tan man is coming. <laughs> if you notice, Nina's collab collabs resemble their Jordan one. Yes, they do. They do. And and, and I, I agree with you, R R G uh Supreme. She dumbed him down like like kind of like a Jordan. But the thing is about this shoe is that it got no swoosh for one, right? So you got no swoosh, the whole side of the shoe. And this is my opinion. I want to hear your opinion, please, everyone. Um, you have not much going on on these side panels. So being that you don't have much going on on the side panels, they're f it's an effing boring-ass sneaker. So, you know, it's just not doing much to it. As I said, it's it's kind of lackluster. And it does kind of remind me of some of these brands that release shoes that look very similar to Jordan's. The and ones or some uh, maybe and one. I've seen Rockaware sneakers that look kind of like this shit, you know? So when I see this, I can't help myself from thinking when I go to Ross for less. Which turned into a complete bag of shit. Remember when you go to Ross for Less and find actual gems? Now you don't find shit at Ross for Less. Yeah, I don't. Not where I'm at. Maybe you guys do. I can't find a damn thing in Ross for Less. Shout out to an eye for kicks. I'm actually wearing her T-shirt today. Thank you again. I do wear. I do wear the stuff that you guys send to my PO box. Um, and keep in mind too, anyone that sends me stuff from my PO box, I've lost weight. My T-shirts are an XL, not a, not an extra large. They're an XL. My hat size is I got to go down one thing, um, so I got to go down to I'm at seven and one half. Ham, I forgot what size hat I tried on that fits me good. Ham was with me when I was trying on hats because I lost about four of the hot dog wrinkles in the back of my fucking head because I had such a fat ass head. Um, that's what she said. But, um, you know, my birthday's coming. Anyone wants to send me shit, just that's, a, that's just so you know. Um, I don't expect shit from no one. Except a thumbs up, for Christ's sakes. Give me a damn thumbs up, please. Um, let's see. I need one of them AF3 baseball bats for, for my birthday. That would, that would be dope. I want to put that up there. I need an AF3. Mr. Gibbs baseball bat. I need to display that over here. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see what you got. Ross used to be the move. Dude, I remember finding Nike SB Ross for Less at Ross for Less for like peanuts. $29.99 for like the, the Wizard of Oz dunks and all of that. Speaking of Wizard of Oz, last night, me and my daughter, my younger daughter, we watched The Wiz. She never seen The Wiz before. I said, oh, shit, you got to watch The Wiz. She loved it. Wiz was my shit when I was a kid. I loved The Wiz. And then I realized that piece of crap was in that movie. Fucking um, Bill is in that shit. Huxtable. I said, shit, what a disappointment. I used to love that motherfucker, man. What a disappointment. Yeah, I just pick my eye and flick the sand out. Yeah, I'm fucking grimy like that. Be like that sometimes, right, Jones? Tan man. <laughs> I told Jones I'm busting his balls until he comes back on the show. Tan man. <laughs> TJ Maxx was a spot too. Yeah, it was. You ain't in Kansas no more. Sammy, what's up, brother? Sam Surrey, my guy. Jordan Brand um, has history of mocking their own fakes. Wasn't the AJKO mock? No, AJKO came out when uh, the original Jordan came out in 85. So there weren't really, I don't even know if there were fakes in 85, you know? I don't think there were. There was, excuse me, were. Okay, you don't want to be on me, but you keep trying to get up here. Weirdo. Oh, let's see what we got here. I, yeah, so you this person likes how it's simple and the loud clothes goes with it. The, well, I will say this. In all fairness, 
the fit looks really dope. But not everyone's buying the whole fit for two reasons. The shit costs a lot of money. But the main reason is all the clothes are selling out like this. So you, you're not going to be able to get the whole fit unless you go and buy on the resale tip. And then the actual shoe itself, more people are going to buy, right? Let's be real. I just wish that they she, she incorporated her art on the shoe. And I, I read someone say about the keychain, but the keychain is the keychain. Do you guys care about the keychain on a sneaker? I throw them shits in the recycling bin, bro. I'm not even going to lie. I'm a recycling kind of guy. I'll be recycling everything. Those keychains, the plastic ones, I throw them shits in the recycling bin as soon as I get them. Either recycling bin or straight to the trash. I know that may upset some of you. I effing apologize. Damn what y'all want keychains, let me know. I'll, try, I'll do my best to start putting them to the side. I damn what throw my bins, my boxes in the recycling bin because I got these boxes here with the look at that. Oh, I love those doors with the magnetic doors. Oh, it's so nice. So them cheap ass um whatever the effing store is called. I forgot what it's called. Container. Oh shit. Great, I just stepped on a Funko Pop I just bought. Ah, fuck. My cat's almost knocking down my tripod over here. This cat's a menace. <sighs> Talk quiet with the big Woody. Talk quiet with a big... Oh, my God. What are you talking about? Man down, man down. What's the dis disc? There ain't no discount code for the front drops, but the link is in the description. It'll take you to Amazon, and you get three of them. They come in threes, and I'll tell you now, you get what you pay for. Okay, you get what you pay for. In some cases, I mean, I don't know if you're gonna get what you pay for spending two fifty on this sneaker, but look. You don't like the price, don't buy the shit, too. Because that thing, that bothers me, too, sometimes. When people bitch it and moan too much about what people are asking for a shoe. Like, it's like people charge $50 for effing, uh, a damn t-shirt sometimes. Like, my t-shirts, I charge $19.99 for, for the ones at one of the sites. Now, the other site that's advertised with the little pop-ups on the bottom, I charge a little more because, you know... I have to. But if you go to this this spot, which I've linked in the chat right now, $19.99 in my t-shirts. And they ship worldwide. It's an honor for y'all to wear my shit. But at the same time, other efforts need to make money. They do. People out here working, they trying to make money. Whether it's creating content like myself, you know, to damn what selling fucking, I don't know. Whatever you're selling. Shit. He says that he thinks the front drops are great. I'm hoping to get more when they go on sale. They're great for the price, but the doors break like this. That's my problem with them, bro. The doors always snap on me. Maybe I'm just too in a rush and I'm just reckless with it. But a lot of people always tell me about the doors breaking, including myself. I have some... Matter of fact, I gave Stretch probably, I gave, I don't even know how many drop front drop boxes I gave, but I gave Stretch a bunch of front drop boxes um, from the container store. But, I mean, they're not horrible. They're cheaper, but I have a problem with the doors. Delzy, we love you. I love you. No homie. Thank you. You don't have to say no homie. I'm all about buying what you like, but this ain't cutting it for me. I think once Jordan 2's come out, uh, these will be irrelevant in my opinion. Okay. That makes sense. But you could be wrong, Lexi. It could be the opposite. Once the Jordan 2 Chicago come out, there will be more hype attached to it. 
and people are going to start being more attracted to the twos because I think that's the two people are going to really go hard body and start wearing like crazy, right? Um, that could be the case also. So we don't really know exactly um, what the deal is until that comes out. I mean, that's, I mean, the anticipation for this shit is real. It's a heavy anticipation for this. Hit that thumbs up button, please. Let's run them likes up if you would, please. On a Friday. On a Friday. We should be live at 7 p.m. Maybe set, maybe even 6.30. 7.30, 6 maybe 7, maybe somewhere around there. Follow my Twitter, my social media, my Instagram. I'll keep you guys posted. And watch more battles here, man. Like, yo, the battles need to have more views. This is a battle you everyone in their mother needs to watch. Just search Tito's kicks versus Mr. Jones versus Matt for the win. I still have this loaded. Let's let's look at this. This this, this battle was so effing funny and a lot of great sneakers, man. Matt for the win versus Mr. Jones and Tito's kick. That was before he became Tan Man. Now Jones is Tan Man for about another few weeks. Matt for the win versus Mr. Jones and Tito's kicks. I, cl I clearly remember you saying you was buying these too, right? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all... Follow the leader, baby. Follow the leader. Follow the leader, baby. Follow the leader. Talk, talk is cheap, now you know what I'm saying? Talk is cheap, now you know what I'm saying? Talk is cheap, now you know what I'm saying? I, I, cl I clearly remember you saying you was buying these too, right? I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's all right. It's all follow the leader, baby. Follow hey, the leader. Talk, talk is cheap, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, talk is cheap, that. man. I just want you to know that. You know what I'm saying? We all know what that A stands for. <laughs> Tongue, asshole. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, 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 look at this shoe, man. We all know what that A stands for. Tongue, asshole. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, 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 look at this shoe. I'm just saying. Look at look at that clean ass A right on the front of that. I'm just saying. Yeah, I got those bacon. I'm just saying. I got them too. Yeah, but you didn't pull them out though. You ain't pull them out. No, I you pulled decided you out. to pull out them ugly ass Yeezys. What you don't have? Good. You have these? Nah, I ain't got no Yeezys. Okay, that's why you're saying they're ugly. No, that's why I don't have them, because they are ugly. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of the most spectacular battles of the year. Matt for the win, Tito's kicks, Mr. Jones. Let's go. Yeah, man. Great fucking battles on the show. Every battle is a banger. So watch them all. We're going to break out of here in a minute. I mean, we go through some sneaker news <clears throat> if y'all want. But let me know in the chat. Y'all want me to keep rocking. Show that love. Keep that chat rocking nonstop. Hit that like. Matt is a monster. He has a lot of heat for your feet and a lot of experience. Yes, he's got a lot of heat. You know, it's good. He loves his shoes, like a lot of us do. A lot of us love sneakers. You love sneakers, Poodle, you know? Thank you. Matt for the win. <laughs> I love that voice. That's like my, like, wrestling, like, announcement, announcer voice, you know? Um, Tanless man, that's you. Yeah. I, you went, If you went to the beach with Jones, he would have put... put he would have had you looking like Jones tan, you know. Jones' secret to his tanning is he puts olive oil on him. He gets a bottle of olive oil and he pours it on himself when he gets on the beach. And then he, he screams, ah, and he throws the bottle into the water. That's what he does, which is not good, Jones. You know, the environment and everything. <laughs> I know he's going to watch his back. I get a laugh out of him. He may be actually, oh, I think he's driving. He said he's driving. I think he's driving to Chicago today. Matter of fact, I think he is. And G fished. Perfect timing. I will, I have not listened to West Side Gun's album. Um, I will be listening to West Side's West Side Gun's album probably in about 15 minutes. If a super chat comes in or a cash app or one of them, I'm gonna hang out longer. 
If not, I'm, I'm gonna, I want to listen to West Side Guns album. And I'm going to do that over at caffeine.tv backslash DJ Dills. It'll be more or less a review of the album. Um, but it's hard to review some on the first listen. So we'll listen to it. I have a feeling it's not that long of an album. Um, so we will be listening to that at caffeine.tv backslash DJ Dells. It's 1032 East Coast time in the morning. So I would say about uh, 1045, 1050, excuse me. And um, he says, olive oil in the sun don't sound like a good mix. Yeah, listen, Jones is so tan. Um, he's got this, this orange glow to him, almost like. It's almost like Trump a little bit. Um, <laughs> he's going to kill me. <laughs> Who copped the shoes today? That's what Gabriel Kicks wants to know. Um, I didn't. I passed on them. Did you, my friend? I'm on a budget today, this month. I'm on a budget. People ain't paying me. Patreon still hasn't even freaking paid me, which I don't understand. Some of these platforms are amazing. You do work on the platform, but they don't even want to pay you. It's like... Well, what are we doing here? Pay me. Please. People are paying you. Now it's time to pay me. So I can pay my effing bills. Shit. Be like that sometimes. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, I think I just did get a little bit of bread. It's because of the holiday. The holiday screwed me up. All right. All right. So let's see what the chat got to say. Cocoa butter is what you use. Cocoa butter is what I use. No sunblock. Well, sunblock is what Jones needs to use because he's he, he's going to turn damn what brown orange. Yeah, shout out to the Patreon. Join the Patreon. Join patreon.com backslash DJ does, even though they haven't even freaking paid me yet. Thank you, Patreon. <laughs> it's all good. What's on the menu? Let's see what's on the menu before we go. And then I'm going to go listen to this West Side Gun album. Hopefully you join me. These are gone. I'm sure they're gone. Yeah, they're sold out. And yo, let me, let me hold up one sec. I'm a, I got your back, Nina. Y'all paying $350 for this, this amazing sneaker. But you can't pay $250 for this shoe? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I think people pick and choose what they what what's worth what as far as retail. I like this dunk. I'm not buying it, but I like this dunk. Lisa Leslie. Nice job. This is the freaking well, look, they, they put out the um the Satan shoes without the blood in them. Ain't this the Satan shoe without the blood in it, basically? And it don't have the damn Pentagon on it. So you basically can make your own um, little Nas X joint if you put the red in there, inject it in there, and then put the Pentagon on there for you satanic people out there. I'm not one of those, but. You know that, who's this? Oh, look at this guy. Nice hair. Holy shit. You got mohawk? Look at that. I don't hear, man. I just put gel on it. <laughs> Yeah, that's amazing. Why aren't you battling tonight? Uh, there's stuff going on, man. I'll tell you outside this chat. Okay. No problem. I'm going to see. But I don't know. I'm trying to get J-Rod. J-Rod so is on the fence of saying yes. I mean, you are battling Mason Kaiser. It's what? not like you're battling Matt for the win. You know? I, was, I ain't afraid of nobody. I'll battle Matt. I'll battle his.
child back. Oh shit! And, oh, yeah, but you ain't back in fifty it's just years. Right now, moment in time, I can't. I can't no, I understand. If you got, if you got things going on, you got things going on. Yeah. But I ain't so what's going on with you? Talk shit, I battle. Oh no! Uh, well, listen, if, personal if, stuff. Listen, listen. Wait, wait, we're not going to accept this statement from you. If you're not battling, then you ain't going to battle anyone. That's like me saying, man, I fight anyone, man. I fight Mike Tyson. That's what you sound like right now. I say it with love. Get in the arena. Light battle tonight. 7 o'clock p.m. We could do 6.30. You want to make it earlier? Make sure Kaiser, he just wants to have fun and show his sneakers. You know? So you did you buy the Ninas? Did you get the hey, Ninas? Nina. Yeah, I tried for them, but I took an L. I really wanted those shoes. I see you wanted them. My money's tight. I couldn't help you on that one, Jack. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna lie. That's okay. I know Stretch people think I'm rich. He, he took L's, I don't know why people so, think I'm rich. I'm not. Shit. I am not rich. I'm looking for a job right now. Anyone want to hire me? Let me know. <laughs> I'm looking for I'm looking Do for it. employment. Anyone want to hire me? With sneakers. Hit, hit me up. I'm good with social media, editing, being a jackass. <laughs> Ideas. You're frozen. All we're looking at is your ear. Let's see how his ear looks. Oh, now we get. <laughs> Dels, can you hear me now? Yeah. Yes, I can hear you now. Hey. Uh, I'm so sorry, Brooklyn's What you can do is an OnlyFans. You can do OnlyFans and then you can call I it. Already have Dels I already have. Cheeks and Sneakers. I have one already, no, no. bro. I have but you gotta put it. But you got to do their name. You got to change the name. Dels Cheeks and Sneakers. His what? Dells is what? Cheeks and sneakers. <laughs> cheeks. Cheeks. You know what? But cheeks. That's just weird. Cheeks bro. and sneakers. Or you can call it sack and sneakers. <laughs> yeah, but then they're going to think it's a collaboration with us, too. And that's just weird. Shannon and me are supposed to start at OnlyFans um, next month. We may shoot some content together. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to do some, like, weird fetish type stuff, you know. I'm going to dress up like Buzz Lightyear. She's going to dress up like the cowgirl, you know, whatever her name was. Yeah. We're going to have probably a whole launch of the OnlyFans. It's going to be fun. Yeah. All right, guys. I'm getting out of here. This shit's getting weird. I'm going to listen to West Side Guns album. If you enjoyed the show, hit the like button. Um, get my t-shirts. They're great. You will love them. You will get a lot of people complimenting you. You will make. You will be very successful in life. You will have luck. You will... Um, your pecker will grow 20 inches if you wear it. Your JJ will get tighter, ladies, if you wear one of my T-shirts. You don't have to put vinegar or anything in your in your thing. Um, you will you um will have more success on sneakers app by buying my T-shirt and also hitting the like button. Um, you will. Your aging process will slow down a lot by wearing it. Um, yeah, so go buy one of my T-shirts today. Um, if you like to send any donations for my cat up top and in the corner, um, follow my social media. I'll be posting stuff I'm selling today probably. And, yeah, we're going to have that soon. We may even just do it on Patreon. Um, so join the Patreon and go to Caffeine TV. I will be live in about five minutes, not even five minutes, probably three minutes listening to West Side Gun's new album.
So come join me there because I can't play music here. That's the address. Hit the thumbs up button. I know it got weird. That's what happens when. Yeah, yeah. I heard that tightens it up for the ladies. I don't know if that's true or not. Could be a, a, a an urban legend or something. But I'm out of here, guys. See you tonight.